Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to another Photoshop lesson. I hope you are good. So today what we're going to do is create a text that is engraved or that it is carved into the, into the background. Right? You can use any kind of background. So I'm just going to write a text. You can write any text that you want. You can write a name or anything. Uh, let me just write engraved. Get a bit bigger. Go. Like I said, you can write anything that you want. Just make sure that the texts are not too close to one another, right? Like there's a bit of a space between the texts. You know, some other texts you find out that they are way too close to one another. So just make sure there's a bit of space between them. And one would ask how, right? <laughs> Probably uh, just go to properties and then you see this one right here. Make sure that you have highlighted your text properties. If you don't find your properties over here, just go to Windows and then you'll find properties over here. Right, then you click on it and that's going to give you something like this. And then now you can see, right, but I'm just gonna undo that. Right, control Z. Cool. Uh, what did I just do? So I can't type it again. Okay, another thing, make sure that your text is white, okay? Make sure, I don't remember what, my, what was my size. I think it's okay. Make sure that your text is white, right? And then now you're gonna come over here, right click, and then we're gonna go to blending option. It's blending option, or you can just double click and then it, take, it will take you to blending option, right? Cool. There we go. <clears throat> so about that. So now what we're gonna do is, let's start with inner shadow. Wait, now before we go to inner shadow, uh, we are still over here. Blending option, right? This is how it opens. First, let's go to multiply. Uh oh, what happened to the text? I know, I know, I know. We'll come back to that one on blending option, right? Then so now we're gonna go to inner shadow and then yeah. increase by multiply. All right, you see this over here? I'm just gonna uncheck it because I want to set the light to uh, the way that, that I want it to, yeah, the way that I want it. I'm gonna put it on 120. You can see it shows as if it is coming from this side. You see, over over here it's coming. It's almost like the shadow is coming from this side. I mean, the light is hitting from this side. That's why it has the shadow on this level. You see, if you put it this side, it changes. See, there you go. So, 120. All right. So now let's just play around with this. Right? Just do this. Make sure you can see your text. Let me just put it over here. He's gonna play around with this to your liking. So yeah, you can make it like this so that you can see where it comes from. So you can kind of see where you like it. Be big, and then come with it until you're satisfied. I think that works. Okay, that works for me. And then I'm gonna go over here to bevel and embers. First one, I'm gonna change my style to outer. Oh, that looks nice. Can you see the difference? Let me just, nice. And then I'm gonna check, change my smooth to chisel hard. Right, again, I'm gonna uncheck this. Because what I want to do is go to minus 45. I want it, yeah, you see, right over here. That one is over here, remember? The one was one on 120, it is here. This one is on the opposite. Good. 
even if it's not exactly the opposite as long as uh, like this one is over here and then it looks like it's uh, on the opposite side all right I want us to change our screen to uh, mobile -like. and then let's go a bit again multiply this uh, nice Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one on 88. Let me just go a bit down here. Better, right? You can see. And then come down over here. Down. I think four works for me. That looks cool so far. Great. I like it. I like it. I like it. Alright, cool. What did I miss? I think I'm okay. Alright, now we're gonna go to color overlay. Okay, so we're gonna change this to black. And then over here, you can choose whether you wanna go on multiply. Right? Which looks great. Or you can go over here to overlay. See the difference, right? You choose. You choose whichever you like. I think I like multiply. I'm gonna stick with multiply. But it depends, right? It depends. It depends also on the background that you're using. If you feel like the overlay is it's great. Even now, you can still go with overlay. Let me just do it one more time. Right. I'm just trying to make sure you, you understand. Um, okay, cool. I'm gonna leave it right here at 19. It's okay. And then I'm gonna go. Oh, should I go down? Let me see. Yeah. Ah, 19 is okay. And then now I'm gonna go to gradient. Click on it. Remember? Good. I'm gonna go to gradient and then I'm gonna go to multiply. And then right over here. You see, there's two types is this and there's this. Right. Make sure that the one you choose, the black side is on top. Like, like the black shadow is on top. Right. If maybe you chose this one, and then you don't have the other one, you just go over here and say you reverse. Then it turns it out. Right. Let me go. This. Oh, let me start by going. Sorry, I'm not sure what's that for. But anyway. Um, let me go over here. Just wanted to okay. good. Yeah, nice. It's coming the way I want it. I think I'm gonna leave it right here on 30. And then I'm gonna click OK. Control zero. And then there we go. All right, this is how it looks. Uh, this is how you create an engraved or a carved uh, letter. You can even use a logo. If you have a logo, you can still put a logo and then make sure that it is white and then you apply the very same settings we just applied right now. It's gonna come just as nice as this one. So thank you very much for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like the video so that it can reach more people. I will see you on the next Photoshop lesson. Cheers.